elected. The Greens are hoping to repeat their success at the 2014 state election, mounting a grassroots campaign to unseat Turnbull Government Minister Kelly O'Dwyer. The once blue ribbon Liberal seat of Higgins is shaping as a tight contest and takes in suburbs ranging from bustling Paran and South Yarra to leafy Glen Iris and Carnegie. More from Andrew Lund. The Green Army. Marching door to door on a mission to win over the inner southeast. We're out door knocking here in Malvern in a place that has never been door knocked before because the old parties have always taken this seat for granted. Focused on asylum seekers and clean energy, the Greens consider Jason Ball a real chance. The 28 year old made his name in 2012, becoming the first AFL footballer at any level to publicly come out as gay. As someone who's gay and uh, plays footy, I reckon. Um, you know, it'd be great to know that the AFL's got my back. Equality also helped put Carl Catter in the spotlight when he took on his outspoken half-brother, Bob. I come from a, you know, a well-known political family, I suppose you could say, but, um, you know, I'm my own man. Labor's candidate has had some high-profile help and on an evening stroll down Paran's Greville Street, he cites infrastructure funding, climate change and social policy as the electorate's three big issues. You've got all people from all walks of life. Um, I think Higgins is often pigeonholed as, as, as you know, a certain type of person, but that's not actually the case. There's a, there's a great diversity. Kelly O'Dwyer is the MP they're hoping to topple. Lovely to see you. She's represented Higgins since 2009. I make sure, though, that all I'm doing each and every day is focusing on my electorate, on delivering for my constituents, on the issues both big and small. The sitting member was one of the big winners from Malcolm Turnbull's takeover, promoted to the front bench as small business minister and assistant treasurer. I think most people in my electorate understand that I'm a really strong local voice for them. I think they also know that it is really important to have that voice in our nation's parliament sitting around the cabinet table as well. The Liberal Party currently holds Higgins with a margin of 9.9%, which on paper should be enough to comfortably retain the seat. But the apartment boom has contributed to a shift in voter demographics, meaning the result could be much tighter. The Greens are hoping to repeat their 2014 success in the state seat of Paran. And with three high-profile candidates, Higgins is one to watch. I think it's exciting to be running in Higgins. I think it's a, a great coincidence that we've got two openly gay candidates running in the seat. I think that's a sign that the times are changing. Andrew Lund, Nine News.